Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux command LSPCI is used to show information about PCI buses and PCI devices. Now there are a lot of options. We're just covering the most basic, most common options here. Some of these may or may not need root. Um, we are logged in as root right now. Um, so they might need root to show you all the information. So in um, any case, some of the options and some of the output with this that come with this command are really just for people with intimate knowledge of the kernel. And uh, to quote the man page, um, you know, like experienced uh, PCI hackers is what they called it. So people with a lot of experience with, you know, PCI devices and kernel internals. So it may not be useful for everyone. So I'm going to show you the average, the normal stuff that your average sysadmin or, or user troubleshooting your system might need to actually use or know. So LSPCI, the basic command, just type LSPCI, and it gives you a list of PCI devices on your system and, uh, you know, a description of what it is, you know, the port it's on, stuff like that. Um, anyways, if you want a machine readable output, you can say dash M, and this is going to give you something with quotes and stuff that's easier to parse with a script. Now, um, according to the man page, if you add two M's, this is going to be even more readable for scripts, not just machine readable, but machine readable for scripts. I'm not seeing any output in that unless I'm just not paying close enough attention. Now, another thing you can do is do a dash K for, um, yeah, so th this is gonna give you driver info, so information about the driver being used, so kernel driver in use, um, kernel modules, like for this one, the Ethernet controller, Intel Corporation Ethernet connection, right? Um, device name, onboard Ethernet, subsystem. And it's going to show you like the kernel driver in use uh, and the you know the kernel module. Um, so like for let's see what's what's another interesting one. Um, I wanted to say Nvidia, but uh, yeah, I mean, it shows you, you can see like the actual kernel module and stuff like that. Um, let's see, where's my NVIDIA? I mean, I, I was I was just looking at the audio device for NVIDIA, but yeah, VGA compatible controller, NVIDIA, GeForce GTX 1080, um, subsystem, it's got this, uh, you know, driver in, in use, NVIDIA, the actual kernel modules are going to be like, NVIDIA FB, Nuevo, um, NVIDIA DRM, NVIDIA, you know, I actually did not realize, maybe it's, I don't know if it's that just this module exists or if it's actually being used. I hope this is not what's being used. I did switch to the proprietary module. I don't know if it, um, yeah, I don't know if this, this is just showing me that this exists on the system or that it's actually loaded right now. It should not be loaded. But maybe that's why I've had trouble recording uh, games with uh, OBS on Linux. I'm gonna have to take a look into that later. Um, but yeah, so um, shows you driver information. So let's see here. Tree, you can do uh, another interesting thing you can do, LSP, P, you know, PCI, um, dash T for tree. This is gonna give you some tree output. This is kind of nice, but it doesn't really show you what each device is. So you, you, you could do a dash V and then uh, it, it actually gives you uh, descriptions for each device. So this is kind of nice, not super useful, but, but kind of nice that you can do that. Um, now, if you do LSPCI, then you can say LSPCI dash V, right? For verbose, it gives you lots of data for each thing. So it gives you a ton of extra information. Most of the time you don't need it, but it's good. It, some of it's useful. So lots of information about each device. Um, so, so that's pretty good. And you can then do um, VV. Now this is gonna be any information that's, that's useful. There'll be a ton more stuff that probably you won't know what to do with and won't be helpful at all, but anything that could potentially be useful it's all going to be dumped here. So that's all great and everything. Great for debugging stuff or, you know, handing info to developers, whatever. Um, now you can do triple V for even more verbose. Now this will give you even data that isn't useful, like sections of, uh, e e sections of buffers that have um, non-useful inf like information that doesn't even contain data in case something got written there for some reason. Just anything it could possibly gather, it's going to give you that. So not seeing a whole lot of difference you know, in the, in the output, I, I might be able to compare it in detail if I, you know, redirected the output and diffed it. But anyways, 
you're not going to need this unless you're if, unless you discovered a bug in like a, a driver or something you're tr you're trying to send data to the developers so anyways that's those are the basic options for lspci basically it's a useful command for finding info about your pci devices and it'll you know it'll help you see what uh you, you know if your system recognizes a piece of hardware stuff like that it, it's pretty useful maybe you're wondering what version of hardware you have <clears throat> um, maybe you want to compare your current hardware to something you're thinking about buying. You're wondering maybe what exact CPU do I have? Should I upgrade? Can it handle you know a certain workload or something like that? Um, so useful information to have. What I personally think is probably the most useful thing here is the dash K option, seeing what drivers are are loaded, and oh, that that's just really useful stuff, right? So that's basically everything I wanted to show you for the LSPCI command for today. All right, so real quick before um, you know, before I finish this video up, I uh, wanted to point out that this actually, um, yeah, I wasn't being observant enough. This does point to uh, the kernel driver in use, so the NVIDIA driver is in use, not this, uh, not the open source driver, but the uh, proprietary driver. So, yeah, so I should still be getting the performance I'm expecting, and um, generally launching games, I have been getting the performance. That I'm expecting it just runs slow running uh, OBS and a game at the same time. Maybe I'm not configuring OBS the, the right way, or maybe, um, yeah, may, maybe it's just some issue with uh, performance on Linux. I'm not sure. So that still needs investigation, but looks like the correct driver is loaded for optimal performance. So there's that. Just wanted to point that out. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.